going to take them further. My name is Jerry, and our special guests for the next hour are called Fiends in Wonderland. Do you know them? Um, well, let's let's introduce somebody. Why don't we start over here? Hello, my name is Cam, and I play the drums. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next. I'm George. I uh, play guitar. Smiles a lot, too, in the video, if you notice. <laughs> really hands it up for the camera. Does an excellent job. I'm Mike. I'm the singer. Usually the first one with the pants off. Liar. Or for a second. Liar. <laughs> okay, <laughs> come on now. Come on. My come name on. is Paul. I play the bass and dance really good. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They are active, rumb- rambunctious young men. I've, they do move around a lot of the stage, which is you know, conducive to uh, the music that they play. Because it's kind of like this driving kind of. So we didn't. We were. We weren't. Uh, well, all right. We can start off like serious. Or we can start off like idiots. But uh, it's going to end up like an idiot anyway. So <laughs> we're always serious. Okay, well, I read this. Uh, just I read this the the one recent issue of Ground Zero, and you guys were in there, and you all came from like different backgrounds. Do you want to talk about your background? Uh, before before you say, talk about I'd like that, to say one thing we about do have Ground to mention Zero article about the three new original songs <laughs> that we wrote. Apparently, that we were not aware. Yeah, of. yeah, I know. And two of those were the three of those no, were actually covers. Yeah, 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 I noticed that. Wow. Also, way to go, go, guys. The influence yeah. uh, listed you two as one of my. <laughs> Uh, I'm afraid I was never quoted as saying that. Well, did I open up some can of worms there or something? Yeah. yeah. We can of worms. I mean, we could go on forever, but... But they're good people at Grounds, yeah. Yeah. So what, what about... Like, you, y'all you came from different backgrounds. I know yeah. that, like... Me and you two guys used to yeah. play together in a band. Yeah. We smash for a while. For about, <coughs> about a year. And I was in it for about <laughs> four months, and I kind of left for a little while and decided to rejoin up. I, know George Freeman. Freeman. I was actually in a thrash band, Requiem, local band. Those guys don't talk to me anymore, though. <laughs> I won't plug in any more than that. This is the mud swinging show. Yeah. yeah. And what did you do before this? I was playing bass Masturbation. in Detroit. A lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> playing play bass in a band in Detroit. Alternative band called the Human Pinatas. Called oh, the what? Right. Human Pinatas. The yeah, Human yeah. Pinatas. <laughs> I always like that. Yeah. We circle jerked a lot. Like, Rock was an alternative fag. There's nothing about that. Hey. But. How much time we got, Rob? Two, Two minutes. minutes. Yeah. Crazy. My, my clock's off. Um, so what, 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 was there some kind of philosophy that, I mean, that, that you can clean up and talk about? What was, what was the... Uh, that we can clean up? No. No, no not really. Our fallopian philosophy? Uh, yeah. Well, that we like to believe, uh, for our own personal inspiration, that, well, we were the fastest swimmers. <laughs> And oh, therefore, okay. we are. I mean, okay. we we beat out. Couldn't everybody make billions? That? Approximately between fifty and sixty million other sperm Maybe to the fallopian tubes. So we've got that going for us. Therefore, we <laughs> are. Right. Okay. We, that makes sense. We were part of the uh, the sperm Olympic swim team. So <laughs> not to rest on our laurels. The training for that is <laughs> not, I would imagine for the well. Sperm it's a lot of torture. It's not easy. Tough work. How would you guys describe your music in like <coughs> 30 seconds or less? Or should we just... Dolphin friendly. Yes. Dolphin, dolphin friendly. friendly, yep. No yeah. dolphins yeah. die in our tuna. And that sums it up. All right, well, let's seconds. see indeed if they are dolphin friendly. Nice segue, Anna. By the way, this is the Oprah Winfrey set that we, we borrowed. Piano, Whoopi. please. Whoopi. Oh, no, that's Either right. I'm sorry. sorry. Whoopi Goldberg. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is Beans are... I mean, Fiends in Wonderland. Fiends in Underwear. <laughs> been a long day. Fiends in Wonderland recorded at the Capitol Theater. Hey, little girl, I want to get you in the...
you horny or something? Well, then this song is for you. This song is for all you horny MFers. It's about growing old, about getting disgusting, and basically getting horny. It's called Horny Old Man.
You like that horny old man? Well, maybe you should meet him. Nuts, come on out here. No. This next song is basically about something that probably everybody's been involved with one time in their life. Being screwed over in relationships. But hell, we don't sing about this stuff usually, but when it happens to people involved in this band, we give it a shot. It's called Sleazy Understanding.
welcome back, kids. Uh, we're talking with Fiends in Wonderland, the band that you just saw playing on your TV sets just now. And you're watching Taking No Prisoners. I don't know if I said that at the top of the show. Um, so what are you guys trying to do musically? Well, what's, what's the, you know, what was the term that we talked about about 30 seconds ago? Well, uh, 30 seconds ago we were trying to get basically our objective of the people we're trying to reach. And really what we're trying to do here is uh, a lot of the bands in this town will stick to one particular market and try to groove on one particular group of people, whereas we're trying to reach everybody possible. You know, we have no uh, prejudice. We'll play Connells or the Capitol or Churchills, wherever it takes. We're just trying to spread our philosophy of groove to everybody, you know. Because, like, the more people move their bodies, you know, the closer they are spiritually to God, we believe. Because, uh, to quote the great uh, John Frusciani, music is definitely the face of God, and uh, we are very close to that. And that's, that's pretty much what we're trying to get. We are trying to reach righteousness through jamming. <laughs> the philosophy <laughs> way of groove. Right? Well, I like that. I like that. There was <clears throat> the ring to that. What, uh, what influences do you guys have, I mean, musically? Do you have... Uh, because I mean, because you play <laughs> a large variety of stuff. It's mostly that, you know, like this thick beat and funk to it. Well, I've been listening to a lot of James Brown lately. A lot of <clears throat> No Mercy. And I've always liked Public Enemy. Mm, everything, really. Everything, basically, that happens to me in my life, everything in my environment that I encounter on a daily <coughs> basis becomes a part of, of an influence because uh, when I play, it's, it's just a form of expression. Uh, influences, like I said, Any? poison, <laughs> firehouse, water. Uh, yeah, no, Can actually, you home? actually, I like uh, oh. I'm no in the Soundgarden trip. Uh, real, real heavy stuff, I guess. Now, a little bit of everything, really. I don't know. A little bit of everything. Down there, that's your so long. <laughs> Me, I like influences. Or uh, uh, what Chris, you like listening to? I grew up. Liking the Stones a lot, liking Devo, Adam Ant, and uh, not right now. I'm getting a lot into Tori Amos and songwriting like that. And Paul, we're doomed. We're doomed. <laughs> First of all, I like to start by saying Michael Lutz is God, <laughs> and everything he does <laughs> rules. Everything Michael Lutz does is kick ass. ass. Kick ass, absolutely. Okay, and uh, no, also Ario Speedwagon no, moved me in a direction in my life. You know, they, they they got me in touch with my my inner feelings, and you know, really, really you know, storm, find right? emotion in music. And then uh, obviously the Chili Peppers were a huge influence, along with uh, Primus and Black Sabbath, and just so much music to name. And Lord Virgil. <laughs> Who's Lord Virgil? Do you guys want to go into that or no? George. Oh, uh, well. He taught you everything you know. He <laughs> basically taught me everything I know. Uh, yeah. It, that's all there is to say. I mean, besides being my mentor, my. Uh, <laughs> Do we know who this guy is? is, he, is he uh, next alive? time you yes. see him, you'll where's, recognize him where's as uh, Paul Stanley. Yes. Oh, yeah. Next time you see Virgil Brewer, he will be uh, or something like that. Or oh, oh, Paul he's Stanley. Him. He's been reincarnated. And so Virgil is no more. I know, it's, the a, Lord it's set up. No, it, that's gone. It's Virgil Stanley. Strata. He's above yeah. being the Lord now. He's oh, let's see some yes. more music. Let's uh, see what these guys do. Wonder what song you, you is saw. Yeah, well, he, he probably wrote yeah. the guess what song. song be, so. but it's, this is about. My guess is show. it would be the Happy. But well, no, nah. I can't even remember. Horny old man. Horny old man. Yeah, okay, let's, we'll try it with Horny old man, and then we'll we'll come back and tell you the story behind that. <laughs> Well, it makes me mad, but he's super bad when I want to jam. Where the hell is Cam? Yeah. <laughs> 
came from between my legs.
It's a very, very nice day job. I work in a warehouse where I stack dildos, love dolls, <laughs> love lotions, basically stuff like that, you know. <laughs> movies, lots of movies. <laughs> yeah, sheet dolls. Yes. So that's nice when Mike's, Mike's, is that buy that one when it gets there. Yeah, yes. what was um, this about the love yous? What was that? Well, they're called love yous, they're blow up sheep. They're going to be actually part of our stage props pretty soon. And probably our nightlife too. I don't know. <laughs> Never can tell. George is Greek, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he showed us the way. <laughs> uh, You're learning. Okay, well, let's see. You know, that was supposed to take us for two minutes, and it didn't. Oh, so what are we going to do now? Uh, how, about, uh, how about our first hit single, The Horny Old Man? Then we can yeah, get okay. some background on that through Mike. <coughs> okay, really quick here. Then. I don't know. I guess it's like a childhood experience when I was like 10 years old. You know, my best friend at the time would ride our bikes. You know, in the small town of Flushing, ride down the road a couple miles up this off-road, and there's an old man who's widowed, you know, and he basically, you'd go there, and he would, he'd sign your name in, like, a hotel book, and he would, he'd, like, let you look at Playboys, but they weren't Playboys, they are like, skank magazines, I mean, worse than that, and he had them <laughs> hanging on his walls and everything, and, you know, if you're 10 year old, you're like, wow, sitting on his couch looking at it, so we'd go there, like, every day. The newest issue of Fist. <laughs> 
fist puppet. It's about fist puppets. <laughs> oh yeah. What do you, you think know, I mean? mean? <laughs> okay. Well, enough of this. And thanks for tuning in. You watch Taking no Prisoners with the Fiends in Wonderland, and we also have a radio show on Saturdays at midnight on ninety five point one. And you probably see or hear these guys one uh, of these days. I will be dancing nightly at Connell's Lounge. <laughs> Every Friday night, come see me dance. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice for the we also play other uh, places. Good night. I don't believe it. <laughs>